getting these pockets zipped. Very tough. Um, we recently just got through Helene in St. Petersburg. We live in, uh, in Shore Acres, which is a, a neighborhood that tends to get flooded. Um, so we just went through that about a week ago and uh, we're very scared about what's going to happen with our home. And um, my mom is on permanent oxygen, so we were fearful that we were going to lose power for too many days and that's why we drove down here. storm surge is the biggest thing with Helene we had about six feet of water inside our home and they're predicting the surge to be about 10 to 15 feet which is twice as much as Helene so it's going to be tough to come back to uh, they, they told us that we we're in B there's A and B and they told it was mandatory and we just went through it I've been there eight or nine years, and we just went through it two or three times. I'm just getting too old to stay there. Yeah. So we just bailed out. You know, luckily we got a hotel. Uh, I live on the water, so we get the, the surge. And it comes right up. You know, we're actually 12 feet above sea level, but we still get it close to the house. We haven't gotten it in the house, but. I got worried? close. What's About happened? our house, I'm yeah. very concerned because it, he probably told you that we live on a canal and um, for the last couple of hurricanes, um, Ian and Irma, the water did come up about halfway, but the way they were describing the surge coming off the Caloosahatchee because we're right off the Caloosahatchee. I just think this time we're really going to get hit. Last time we had a, we have our avocado tree pulled out and our mango tree pulled out. And we did lose our dock for Ian. We lost our seawall, the whole 80 feet of it. But it never came in the house. But I just, you know, it's, it's scary. It's really scary. It's, it's not scary right now. It's scary thinking about what we're going to find when we go back.